which is that government policies in India have systematically attacked the backbone of our um, employment system. And demonetization and GST have devastated those structures. And he's dominant everywhere. He controls cement. And on one side, they are pushing this very monopolistic capital. And on the other side, they're devastating the small and medium people from where we're going to get a job. That's why we're having an unemployment crisis. Where we draw the line is the notion of crony capitalism, right? We don't have a problem with the private sector. We don't have a problem with the government sector. Where we draw the line is where one or two people starts, start to financially control the whole country, right? And where one or two people or three people are running everything. That's where our problem begins. Uh, there's another element to this, which is that government policies in India have systematically attacked the backbone of our um, employment system. If you look at who gives employment in India, it's the small and medium industry that gives employment in India. And demonetization and GST have devastated those structures. Right? So it's a, it's a two-pronged attack that the government is carrying out. Number one, impose a huge transaction cost on all small and medium businesses and ensure that you build two or three monopolies, monopolists who control pretty much everything. Right? So if you look at Mr. Adani, our problem with Mr. Adani is he controls the ports, he controls the airports, he controls agriculture, he controls the grain silos, he has real estate. I mean, he's everywhere. And he's dominant everywhere. He controls cement. right? So we think that's counterproductive for the country. And, and on one side, they are pushing this very monopolistic capital. And on the other side, they're devastating the small and medium people from where we're going to get a job. That's why we're having an unemployment crisis. So I, am, I am perfectly happy with the names that we have in our constitution. Um, India, that is Bharat, works perfectly well for me. Um, but I think these, in a sense, to me, are panic reactions. Um, there's, a little, there's a little bit of fear in the government. Um, these are distraction tactics. We, of course, came out with the name India for our for our coalition and it's a fantastic idea because it represents exactly who we are we are we consider ourselves to be the voice of India and so the 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 word works very well but it's obviously disturbed the prime minister enough that he wants to change the name of the country which which is absurd but that's what it is uh, it's also interesting that Every time we raise the issue of Mr. Adani and crony capitalism, the Prime Minister comes out with some dramatic new diversion tactic. You know, It's curious that just after I did a press conference on Adani, uh, this entire uh, diversion is, is put into place. It's interesting. There is a attempt to change the nature of our country. Our country uh, in the constitution is, design, is uh, described as a union of states and we believe that the most critical aspect of our union is the conversation between members of our union. And there is an alternative vision which is the BJP vision which believes that power should be centralized power should be concentrated, wealth should be concentrated, and the conversation between members of the union, between people of India, should be suppressed. And so this is the, this is the fight between two visions. I like to term it the fight between Mahatma Gandhi's vision and Nathuram Godse's vision. Nathuram Godse being the person who assassinated our leader. हमसे जुड़े रहने के लिए हमारे YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और नई वीडियो की नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बेल आइकॉन को दबाएं। अगर आप ये वीडियो Facebook पर देख रहे हैं तो लाइक जरूर करें और ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर करें। धन्यवाद।